Good morning. Mother Nature, thank you so much. The sky is crystal blue. There are so many white fluffy clouds. This day truly cannot get any more beautiful, but unfortunately I will not be able to enjoy even a second of it because I have an amazing date with the dining room. I cannot tell you how much schoolwork I have to catch up on and to prepare for this upcoming week. I have a test on Monday. I have a test on Wednesday. I have a bunch of diary logs I have to create. I have to work on a presentation. It's safe to say I'm going to be busy, busy, busy. As long as I get a huge chunk of it done, I will be very happy that way I enter into this week feeling not too overwhelmed. Enough of me talking and procrastinating. I need to get to business. I had to take my hair down because I was getting the worst headache ever just from having it super tight and pulled back. And I feel a little bit better. Mentally, I am drained, but I am so happy that I accomplished so, so, so much schoolwork. Almost everything I set out to do, I was able to check off my to-do list. The only thing left would be to do more studying. I did a little bit, but there's still definitely a ways to go. It is now time to officially end for the day. I'm going to be heading off to the hospital. Being that I'm a senior in my nursing program, one of the requirements to graduate is to do a preceptorship. That is part of our senior capstone. And so ultimately we have to complete 120 working hours in the hospital in a given unit under a preceptor that basically guides us and shows us the ropes and we do different skills under his or her guidance and ultimately the goal is to be able to do things independently on our own with them supervising over us. I was assigned a hospital and a preceptor a couple weeks ago. Tonight is my first official shift. Now how the placement basically works with my school is we received a sheet of paper last semester. Either you put your top three choices in hospital or you can list your preference based on unit or department. But the unit that I'll be in is the emergency room. And to be honest, that's an area that I never really had too much interest in. When I first saw that I'm placed there, I was definitely really nervous and I still am right now. Fingers crossed everything goes well tonight. And head downstairs right now, eat some dinner. My mom made sure that she cooked a little bit earlier. That way my belly is nice and full before I head out for the night. chicken bruschetta so we have a little bit of fresh garlic basil and cut tomatoes here are some spare ribs that were cooked in the crock pot so they're super tender mashed potatoes a little bit of broccoli and some more chicken Even though I already ate dinner, I'm going to be hungry later on during my break, so I'm gonna bring an insulated bag full of food. So now it's time to do a little packing. Good luck. All situated and ready to go, I'm leaving very, very early. Anytime I go into doing something for the very first time that involves me traveling someplace, I always make sure to give myself plenty of time. Maybe a little too much time, I'll probably be sitting in the parking lot for a good half an hour, but that's okay, because it's better than showing up super late and not making a good first impression. Feel good right now, not too tired. We're gonna hopefully see how this goes throughout the night. The rain is starting to intensify and of all days I just got an alert on my phone that we're supposed to have a severe thunderstorm in the area. I'm hoping that I beat it and that I don't have to actually drive through it because I really would rather not. I am literally driving right into this storm right now. The sky is straight glowing. It keeps lightning everywhere. My face looks so funny right now because all the raindrops are reflecting from the light in the parking lot so kind of have like a cool pattern going on. I am 40 minutes early right now. Talk about being punctual. This thing on my face is like driving me crazy. Okay, I it's like a hopeless cause. <laughs> my the rain is so bad I can't even see outside the window. Genius Ashley forgot an umbrella so it looks like I'm going to be sprinting inside. The wind is picking up so I'm scared to even leave. It's not helping me be calm right now but I'm trying to just focus and tell myself that everything's gonna go smoothly.
Oftentimes what happens with me is that when I go into a new situation, I get so nervous because I don't know what to expect. I try telling myself every time this happens that there's nothing to stress about. Once I've done something a couple times and I get used to it into a routine, then I feel great. But it's that initial first time doing something new, that's when I get so anxious. I'm gonna make a run for it right now. The rain is kind of letting up a little bit. I would say I'll see you in a few, but it's probably gonna be a little bit longer than that. Until then. Hypotension from blood loss. As you can tell, I'm in one piece, which means it went well. I survived it, and it truly wasn't that bad at all. I actually enjoyed it. Officially completed my very first shift. Meeting my preceptor for the first time went so smoothly. She is super nice. I was also able to learn so much from her in already such a short period of time. I took a few patients' vital signs. I was able to get a warm blanket for one patient who was a little bit cold. Learn how to test the urine and how to put it in its tubing. Also seeing a few different things like hanging IV bags and drawing blood. Being able to become familiar with my surroundings and learning where everything is and just the basic operations on how the emergency room works made me feel so much more at ease. And I'm excited now to go to the next shift because I won't be so nervous. No matter what the situation may be, I feel like we should always use it as a learning experience. Like this one for instance, I was crazy nervous and then what happened? I went through it and now I'm no longer nervous. Buddy. I cannot tell you how good it finally feels to just lay down and get ready for bed. I know I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. I wanna leave you guys with one little message before I head off to sleep. No matter where you are in your life, no matter what's going on, no matter what situations you're being faced with, always go into everything with an open mindset. Be as optimistic as possible. Never dwell on the negative aspects of whatever the situation may be. If you begin to change your approach on different things and your energy and how you're feeling on the inside, you'll start to reflect and have a positive influence on the outcomes that will occur. Even though tomorrow's Sunday, I do want to wish you guys a beautiful upcoming week. I truly hope that each day is special. And don't forget to smile throughout the entire day. It makes all the difference. Each of us have our own lives and we all go through different struggles. And sometimes we'll pass people by in the street or wherever we may be. And we don't truly know what they're going through. So just simply giving someone else a smile or going out of your way to do something for someone else. Like holding the door. Something as simple as that can make all the difference and can put someone in the best mood. So really try to do something for someone else this week. I'm going to head off to bed right now. I want to wish you guys an amazing night. I'll see all of you in the next video.